Almost every lawmaker is wearing a mask. One is even wearing a visor. The questionable deaths in Kano State gained the attention of lawmakers, as raised by the leader of the House, who is also from Kano. Mr. Speaker, I'm afraid the way we are going in Kano, if care is not taken, the ravages we are undergoing may be worse than Boko Haram. The only bill up for consideration is for an act to repeal the Quarantine Act of 2004, which the Speaker, who is also the sponsor, says is outdated. This bill allows the NCDC to be proactive, to investigate, e.g. epidemiological investigations, and surveillance pro propaganda um, programs. I have seen the title of the bill. I have not seen the bill, the content. I was shocked when one of the content of the bill will be giving NCDC, or whatever they are called, the right to do certain things. We've been told that there's going to be a chip. In fact, that the, that the vaccine is here already. So when we put in the chip, the monitors from UK, from US, what we are doing in our rooms and whatever. And now, there's a portion now saying, and since we don't have the right to order this, this that, that is why, Mr. Shea, you, you observe me shaking and wondering and perplexed. The bill scales second reading, despite the huge dissent in voices. The question now is that the bill breaks second. Those people say aye. Those against say nay. That's how it. The bill, which was initially scheduled for speedy passage, is however deferred to the next sitting to allow members properly study it. China. And following the poor treatment of Nigerians in China by the Chinese government, a motion for prompt government intervention is considered and adopted. Mandate the committees on interior, local content and commerce to investigate the Nigerian Immigration Corporate Affairs Commission, Nigerian Content and Development Monitoring Board, and any other relevant ministry, department or agency to check the validity of all immigration document of every Chinese person in Nigeria and the expatriate quota of all the Chinese businesses in Nigeria to ascertain the number of illegal and undocumented Chinese immigrants in Nigeria.